All right, now, so now things get weird. Yeah. Now what, what, now, what happened? At the time that he died, your wife was pregnant. No, at the time he died, I had a three-year-old. Okay. Okay. Oh, really? Yes, and, yeah, and she was three years old. Okay. So uh, I had a, a year, you know, I had to start my whole life over again. I mean, me and Sam had a 14-year story here. Uh-huh. So I, I didn't know any club owners. I had only done theaters for the last eight years. Uh-huh. I knew promoters, but I knew none of the clubs. Yeah. Uh, so I had to find a way. I, you know, I went from making hundreds of thousands a year to making six thousand a year. Sam died. And you, well, this is that thing that this is the wave crashing. This, you were, the you wave, were, saying, you were the Sam's whole opening act. machine stopped. Yes, right. So yeah, the whole okay. thing stopped. So I'm on the survival mode, and I went from you know paying uh, twenty five to three thousand dollars a month in, in child support. You know, just how long have you been divorced? I divorced three years. So I had Angelica the first year of her life, and then I got to see her maybe 10 days over the course of the next three years. Her mother didn't let me see her much. She lived in New York. Uh, so I would do gigs out there and then go spend maybe a day or two with her. I remember running into her once in Times Square. Okay. You know, just like frenetic and crazy. Uh-huh. You want to see a picture of the baby? She had really lost herself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and later was, was you know, uh, deem, uh, she got doctor's help and is bipolar manic. Okay. But back then we thought she was a great party chick. Right. Oh, yeah, no, she yeah. was She was yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. Now, now well, well, by the time I'd run into her in Times Square, I'd heard rumors okay. of things. Mm-hmm. So... And like the the rumor was mm-hmm. that uh, that it was Sam's baby, mm-hmm. and I had already heard that. And when she showed me the picture, I was like, "Oh my god!" Uh-huh. Well, my mom's blonde, uh, and her hair changed at five, and my and my sister's a blonde. Still. Right. Okay. So in my in my family lineage, that's there. It's so okay. That, yeah, right. it was okay. And then and then uh, Sam approached me after she was born anyway, and said, "Listen, that's your kid. Don't let any of these rumors. That's a part of our." stuff let it let the rumors be out there but had you guys shared her oh yeah 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 we were all uh, you know but not during not when i kicked him away from our family so we can start a family but but at the time there was a lot of you know everyone was fucking everybody it was rock and roll okay it was rock and roll (laughs) okay yeah so but not at the time of us conceiving to start a family right because that was one of my things too is i knew that if if we got off the rock and roll bandwagon then it would help change sam because i was as close as compadre and yeah. if i didn't want to be around him anymore he had to make a decision right so that's what i got to and plus you know i was in my late 20s it's like it's time to have a kid it's sure. you know i got money i got a house I, let's do it it's, this is the perfect time uh-huh. so in doing that making that decision he was all gung-ho for it now what 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 transpired to make you question the 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 this you know who the father was well a year after he died uh right after that tribute show aired yeah i couldn't make a child support payment so i called my ex to talk to her about how we could work this out right and in that conversation she started crying and she said i've got something to tell you we never meant to hit you we never meant to hurt you we carl it just got so convoluted and i go what are you saying She's not yours. Angelica's not yours. It's Sam's. We didn't know what to do. We were, you know, yeah. the biggest fist in the face. Yeah, you could ever. I, imagine. I can't imagine. It, it. It took my whole. I mean, in one moment, I spun back to every single memory I ever had with Sam. Yeah, you know, from day one of meeting him, and blah, I mean, it just. What all were the lies? You know, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that that had yeah. happened. And never they, deny, never confirm kind of exactly, bitch in the ass. Exactly. <laughs> and exactly. <laughs> yeah, they bit you, other people, but not me. Yeah, now yeah. you need some confirmation. Right. So I, I got off the phone with her, and I called uh, Bill Kennison. And I yeah. said, uh, uh, Christy just said that this is Sam's child. Did you know that? And he goes, yeah, I did, buddy. Uh, she called uh, the day of Sam, of your of her birth, your daughter's birth. Sam pulled me aside and said, uh, "Buddy, I don't know what to do, but that's my baby, and I can't tell Carl because if I do, I ruin everything we've ever worked for, and I can't lose him. Mm-hmm. That's my friend. Mm-hmm. I screwed up, and I don't know how to deal with this." Mm-hmm. I go. He said that. He goes, "Yeah." Uh, so now I went into a whole, you know, self sabotage. I started drinking. Uh, and everywhere I went, people wanted to tell me these great stories of me and Sam. Yeah. How we treated them, how we'd loaned them money, how yeah. we took care of them, yeah. how, we, uh, what, how nice we were to their families, blah, blah, and, and fans. Yeah. Thank you for that show. I needed yeah. it back in then and yeah. back there. And, and you're just fighting the, the, the oh, desire to go, fuck I, that guy. Yeah, I'm stuck in the middle because I helped create the career. 
and it was my friend, but and I'm looking at his fan who's so happy to meet me because they saw us perform. And I can't say, you know, the guy fathered my child. And if he was here, I, w I would kill him right now. I want to kill him. I couldn't. So I had to bite it and, and drink through it every night. And that's when my road appearances changed. That's when I sabotaged myself for five, six years. Was there ever a moment where you, where you, you looked at your relationship with Sam, you looked at your life, you, you understood the life you led, that there was any empathy in you, that, that it could have happened? That, I mean, you'd both been in... You know, we've all been on yeah. the moral. I'm certainly oh, you sure, guys push sure. the, the moral. Well, what I found, what I found is, uh, is I went to a friend's house and uh, spent the night getting high with him once. And I woke up the next day and he goes, you're not invited over here unless you clean up, you know, get off drugs. I go, what were you doing? Just blow and booze? Yeah. I go, what are you talking about? And he goes, you went into my girlfriend's bedroom last night and you tried to seduce her. You told her you're a better lover than me and blah, blah, blah. And I went, I have no recollection of that. Right. He goes, exactly. So you're not a welcome over here till you right. get off drugs. And I drove home from that going, who am I to blame Sam when I just did the same thing? Well, God damn, there were rumors, dude, there were rumors like, you know, that you and Sam slept together. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're... Well, they're that's, <laughs> that's the one you actually can deny. <laughs> 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 we'll confirm that that's not true. Uh, I remember uh, Sam wrote that one joke. He goes, you know, uh, somebody thinks it's funny to, to run these rumors that Carl and I are gay. He goes, listen, we are spiritually we are spiritually gay. We'll get on our knees for each other, but we won't give head. We'll give thanks. Uh, <laughs> but, okay, so now, okay, even with the... So you were able to process that after how how many years of just getting fucked up and like when, probably seven years of of really yeah. not being able to let and go and not still being divorced. I mean, I'm still in a court battle to get a divorce. It took me seven years to get a divorce. I had no money. There was no uh, property to split up. Uh, it just I had a lawyer that Bill Kennison had gotten me that and he I, knew he got you the lawyer before he told you that he knew. Yes. So, this, so I put it all together and realized we forged a will. He got the estate. He screwed Sam's daughter and wife out of their heirness, if that's the right way to say it. They were they were due those things. Christy was. No, Malika. Oh, okay. Malika was his wife of a week when he died. Did she have a baby? No, no, no. Okay. She was his right. wife. Sure, she got sure. married that week. So she was screwed out of... And at that moment, when he had you sign that will, did he know that that kid... So he already knew the he kid, already knew the kid. Yes, oh, he already knew the kid. Yes, he already knew the kid was okay. Sam's. There's your villain. Had me sign the will. Mm. Yes. And then got me the lawyer that did it for free, and I would get calls every six months for the next meeting. So in your mind... So it took me seven years to divorce. And in legal mind, the... The action that he took was to make sure you or this daughter that he had with Christy would not get any money. Exactly. We were buried, and he got to have the estate. Now, is that estate still kicking? I mean, I well, mean, the, the chances are, in the, and uh, yes, it's still kicking. But I mean, he has a deal with HBO for a film and all these things, and this should go to his daughter. All right. So now, how did it affect? Like, how did all this? You know, once he started. Like I have to assume that when you were going through this uh, this pressure from the uh, the law, yeah, to to pay these child support uh, payments, how did that affect your well, working life? Liens went on all my checks, so anything I get from Screen Actors Guild, any movie, any TV show I've ever done, all of a sudden, you know, eighty percent of my checks gone. Because I know you you talked about this on Stern like four what four years ago, yeah, about four years and, ago, and you basically said that that's Sam's kid, but you had no proof. Right, I had no DNA proof, so it just the core story kind of went and gone and left, but. Uh, I had a website, and it had all my dates on there of all the clubs that I was working. And uh, the next thing I know, Child Services attacks all these dates that I'm doing and really harass the club so much that the clubs quit working me. So I lost a lot of work years ago, like four years ago, five years ago, uh, that was on my, you know, my calendar for years in a row. Uh, that accounted. They on. got scared. And they got scared. So it was like a fucking shakedown. They it were was like a, the it mob. Was a, a big shakedown there. And then they took my, you know, with no driver's license, no passport. I couldn't start driving to gigs. So uh, L.A. became obsolete to me. I couldn't show up for an Holy audition. Fuck. I couldn't go to my club dates at night. I, you know, I had to have people drive me. All of a sudden, I'm the the 16 year old. I need a ride. All of a sudden, you're right back where you were when you were doorman at the exactly. beginning. You were. 